YouTube Nation. This is probably the hardest video I ever did, ever will, whatever, but I want to let you know what's going on in my life and what's going to happen in the future here. Um, October 23rd, 2020, my dad was admitted to the ICU in a hospital outside of Pittsburgh, which where we live. Uh, he has stage four COPD, which is pretty much a brutal lung disease that's uncurable and nothing you can do to cure it. And um, he went down there because he was just couldn't move, couldn't breathe. Blood pressure was down, oxygen level was down. Monday, that was a Friday, Monday, um, they intubated him, which pretty much means they'll sedate you and put you on a ventilator because you can't breathe good enough to get enough oxygen to your lungs and so forth. Um, he was like that for three weeks. His birthday was uh, October 30th. He was sedated and knocked that. Couldn't wish my dad happy birthday. Wasn't allowed to see him for two weeks because of stupid COVID, which he tested positive for um, that Sunday. So that's one of the reasons why they, they intubated him and so forth. So I had to wait two weeks to go see my dad. When I did go to the hospital to see him, he was an ICU severe case unit. And I had to pretty much wear head to toe <laughs> space suit to go see my dad who was sedated did, does he know what i'm saying to him does he know i'm there talking to him you know trying to hold his hand just tell him just tell him i love him Toughest three weeks of my life. <sighs> oh, man. Then, uh, the, uh, Friday was it the 13th. My mom called me and she said the doctor called. Dad's not doing good. So I meet her in the hospital parking lot. Doctor calls and says my dad's lung collapsed. His heart stopped. Give him CPR. Don't know what's going to happen. So we get in there. <sighs> Excuse me. He looks like Mike Tyson beat him up. You know, I mean, he just looks bad. And I thought that was it. You know, we've been praying since day one. Have multiple people praying, you know, hoping for that Christmas miracle coming. And, uh, you know, why well, he made it through Friday, but his brain did not get oxygen for a little while. Could he have been brain dead? We don't know. Couldn't run tests just because of his setup. His He wasn't allowed to move because of the, the tube and so forth. And uh, he survived Friday night and then Saturday. Went to see him again on Saturday. Looked a little bit better. I'm like, okay, you know, got that miracle coming. Sunday morning comes before we go to church. I'm out on my back porch outside and it's Pittsburgh. It's... It's November 15th. I'm out sweeping the leaves on my deck, like I said. Looked up, overcast sky. I just had that feeling, just something wasn't right in my, my heart. Go to church, five minutes in the church. Man, I'm bawling in the back, probably three fourths of the service. I felt bad for the pastor because he kept back looking back at me, but I just had that feeling, didn't know what was going on. Five o'clock comes, mom calls me. Doctor says not doing too good. Let's go on in. Go in. There with my dad, you know, and me and my mom. Just look at his numbers on the on the screen. They just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. And the next thing you know, you hear that that flat line that you never want to hear, man. And that was it. You know. All I gotta be thankful for is the time I have my dad. And the time he spent with my kids, playing baseball, catching with them, just doing odds and ends, you know? You never know when it's gonna be someone's last breath.
So I just know he's not in pain anymore. He's in heaven. Now I don't have to wear a mask like you do to him. Uh, I think a lot of us are jealous of him right now. But, uh, man, it's been tough. I've been putting this video off for quite a while. It's December 23rd. <laughs> so that's where I've been. A lot of stuff going on, man. It's tough. The drive's not there. It's tough to fall asleep at night. But I just know he's in a better place. So I'm sorry for everything. And, uh, and the other part of my uh, thumbnail, is this the end of Five Minutes Up Reviews? Pretty much. I don't want to say goodbye. I might want to say see you later, but... I just don't can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I had so much fun, man. Even though it was only five minutes, uh, the relationships I created, the reviews, had some fun doing this. So the people I did collabs with, I mean, you're all awesome. The interaction with the fans, <laughs> fans, the subscribers, the non-subscribers, whoever it is, uh, been, it's been real. You know, I, I wish everybody the best. I, I hope and pray 2021 is better for this world, for our nation. And uh, I, I appreciate everybody's support in the past and going forward. And, you know, um, I'm pretty sure this is the end of it. And uh, I hope you can respect me for that. Peace out, YouTube Nation. Thank you.